Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a hidden treasure thing that is that has been hidden in SAP for a long time, at least for me and probably for some of you. Uh, so uh, this is something, so what we are going to do here is suppose we have a number, okay, you might say, what do you mean by a number? Uh, so suppose I'm just running out and running this and suppose for some reason what I really know is let me go here we'll try to get a vendor we'll try to get uh, a, uh, a number uh, which is the vendor reference number or something like that okay so here suppose we have a number called uh, here we'll get suppose this is the number the document number okay five one this thirty six okay so suppose i really don't know and i only know this number okay or i only know this invoice reference number or i i think this would be a perfect one this reference number suppose this is unique because this is suppose the vendor reference number so what i'm going to do is i'll just try to search it okay uh without going to any transaction i don't know anything i only know one transaction and we will see how it works okay so what we are going to do is we are going to go into transaction se 16t before se 16t i have videos where you can find a, a transaction code a table and all those things now we can do a field based search so what i'm going to click do here i'll just click test okay just for the purpose uh the field description i really don't know so i'll put probably invoice i don't know i'll just give it a try and i'll put this number okay and here i'll just execute now here i don't have the authorization so what i'll do is i'll show here the trick to do the authorization bit also okay so how to trick to crack the authorization i don't have it but you know you will have it once you have it get, get it from the security and once you have it it's easy you don't have to follow this step the extra step that i'm doing to trick the authorization so here wusl that's the that's the message i was getting 355 you don't have to follow this once you have authorization so i'll just click here and i'll just execute and here it has stopped so I'll just need to put the debug point before and that's it and I'll get this message again which is fine and then the next time I'll execute I should not get this message okay so what I'll do here I'll just change it to zero okay so now I'll just execute now at this point you will see in the other screen that it's spinning it's spinning okay so so eventually it will find something so here now it didn't do number of tables uh eight one errors so we didn't get anything done so probably we'll put reference okay so I put reference it didn't work so we'll just execute okay and here we'll do the same We'll just select, we'll just click zero and we'll save and we'll execute. And now let's see whether it works. Sometimes with the invoice number it worked. So we'll see whether it works. So okay, so it gives a dump. So let's go and we'll do the same thing. SC 16 p And now we are going to do with are different we are going to do with the reference number that we saw so test i'll put invoice and i'll put this number, okay 510037 so let me go where is this number it's somewhere here so i know the document number which is the invoice number and what i'll do is i'll just execute okay so i think i'll get the same error now because now I'll do this thing slash H and you don't have to do it. I don't have the authorization. So that's why I have to do it. So let me close some session here. Uh, let me close this session. Yeah. So I'm running out of sessions. Switch to standard web debug 
bar and now what I'm going to do is I'll put the breakpoint on the message so system is slow because everyone is using the internet and everyone is working from home it's coronavirus time so stay stay home and learn SAP that's the new mantra so here we'll just put the same thing again you don't have to do it sorry about this but at least this will help you to to try out something if you don't have something okay so I'll just do F8 F8 let's let it have again then it will stop before the message and I'll just change it there okay so it's starting now it started uh -huh. we got it and now we exit we click zero press f8 and boom so let's see wow you see we got our information so it's in the table rbkp you see i click on it it takes me to the table perfect so you just know some some fields and it's good to go you know so i think let's let's try this one man i think we were checking with the wrong field so we can try with this value the reference number okay uh, so i'll put reference here um, and i click execute and we'll see the debug point going here we'll go here we'll close this we'll make it zero and boom and we'll see whether it works or not okay so it debugs it gives a dump because there's some other issues that's it so stay tuned for this channel and happy sap learning and have a great day